Where are we going today, Mummy and Daddy? Well, today we are going to Pocklington Canal. We're going to Pocklington, about half an hour drive away. There's Mummy. Hello. Trying to coax sleeping into the car. He's not a big fan of going in the car. Come on, good boy. That's it. Because he was brought over in a van from Romania, so any sort of vehicle he's not a big fan of. <laughs> but Phoebe's beautiful. <laughs> there we go. There's a smile. So yeah, Pocklington it is. Come on, Lupin. So. Arrived at Pocklington Canal, Phoebe was um, hysterical. She wasn't having a great time in the car, was she? No. No. But we've arrived, and we've actually found the car park. Oh, Alephorts only down the at road. At the third time of looking. That is a jug of beer. And I love that they've signaled, singled out the pubs. <laughs> So where are we going? Point to where uh, we're going. Just, we don't actually know where we're going. We're just going to walk as far as we want. Oh, there's another pub there. I think we should walk to that pub and then turn back. We're going on a pub crawl. But it tells you how many miles it is. Aren't we, Phoebe? Are you right now? We're on the other end. Yeah, she have a great time in the car. No, but she's, she's all right now. now. She's yeah. fine. And Lupin's just, just Lupin. So yeah, that's the canal. So that's where the, um, um, that's the lock. Mm -hmm. Top lot, the first of nine grade two listed locks along the canal. Locks raised or lower the water level to allow boats to move up or down sections of the canal. So there you go. Lots of little dogs, these are off the lead. As I've explained in past videos, we don't let Lupin off the lead because Lupin likes to run off after rabbits and stuff. It might not be able to hear me now, but they probably won't get another lot. Dress is already ruined. Everywhere she goes, she gets a muddy paw print. So now needs to wipe the muddy paw print off her dress. So yeah, this is a lot. So there's water flowing through there. It's all very old, but then that goes into there. So there you go. Obviously it's not used as a canal anymore. And I'm uh, speeding ahead. So this is one of the UK's most important canals for wildlife. The canal is designated as a site of special scientific interest for its aquatic plants, dragonflies and breeding birds, including the water bowl, yellow flag iris and a mute swan and the Melbourne Arms is 4.3 miles away which sounds delightful can't actually see what I'm recording so all I can see is a reflection on the screen of my striped t-shirt but I'm sure it's fine Is stunning weather. It's been about 16, 17 degrees here recently, which is pretty decent for March. Because next week it's supposed to be cold again and possibly wintry showers. So, you know, I guess that's more the norm for March than this really warm weather. Come on, Lupin. I doubt we're going to do the full nine miles. We'll just do as much as we want to do. Phoebe's got a mummy's sun hat on. No fishing, Emma, sorry. No, no. Sleeping second walk today. Because we walked into town and and we got our eyebrows done. And we had a coffee and a tea at Costello's in Driffield. And then Lupin had lots of play with other dogs. I actually ran into someone's house earlier. But he wasn't that bothered because he's got a he's got a dog himself, so it was all good in the hood. How's Phoebes? Mm, good. She's pushing a 
She's got a lovely hat on. Yeah. Don't know if that means Phoebe's got a really big head or you've got a really small head. I think she's got a big head because mine's quite small. She's got a big head like a daddy. Yeah. It's got a GoPro or something, something so this is a bit more stable. Oh yeah, that'd be a good investment. Get one that you can do underwater. Oh yeah, then we can go in the canal. No, All right. Where are you now? This is Silburn Lock, one of the unrestored locks on the canal. It no longer has its timber gates. The lock chamber has thick brick walls with stones on called copings. Look for remains of timber in the chamber walls that they are protected by the brickwork from damage by boats. Did you know? This was a popular spot for swimming, but please don't try it today. Locks can be dangerous and sadly lives can be lost. Well, there you go. I mean, I wouldn't want to try and swim in there. Looks like it's more sort of marshy grass than water but you don't know what's under there so that's the message that they're trying to um, warn you about you're not allowed to go swimming in there am I? no just putting this tissue in your pocket thanks brilliant so i've now got a wet wipe in my pocket which i must remember to remove Wet wipe in my pocket, that's what you are. You beep! Hey, Ben. He's a good boy. He's going to need some water when we get to where we're going. When did the lock stop being used? By 1931, the past state of the locks prevented boats from travelling up to Canal Head. In 1932, the canal's last recorded commercial trade, a cargo of roadstone, was taken as far as the Melbourne Arm. The nine locks are historically important. Some were actually grade two listed in their derelict state. They would have to be rebuilt in order to be used, but in the meantime, their condition is being monitored. And that is a fly. And after a very um, tumultuous journey, she's now fast asleep under the sun hat of her man. Shh. Oh, this is a bit prettier. It was looking a bit marshy earlier, wasn't it? So yeah, Phoebe is now fast asleep. Um, and I've just discovered that the Melbourne Arms, which is probably where we're gonna have a pit stop, is um, an hour's walk away. So that'd be lovely, won't it? And Nibbin's a good boy. Nibbin. Hello. Can't really see the water much anymore because we're all behind these um, very tall plants. Daffodils are all out in force. First time we've been here, and we'll probably come again because it's just a nice, nice easy walk. And Lupin's having a, he's having a good time. Yesterday, I finished work quite early and I went swimming with Phoebe. Phoebe had a nice time swimming. And then Dan and Grandad came over, had a nice, they brought a curry for us, which was lovely. We were both very tired last night. We were um, Gogglebox fans and we sat and watched Gogglebox, but we both fell asleep. And then I couldn't get to sleep. And then Emma couldn't get that to sleep. Annoyingly, and it was Phoebe's second time that she'd slept all the way through the night. But Emma chose that night to not sleep. Silly mummy. Yeah. So I went downstairs and slept on the sofa with Lupin. Lupin. So we've reached another lock. Uh, Coates Bridge is one of four road bridges over Pocklington Canal, built by local businessmen between 1815 and 1818. It runs for 9.5 miles between Canal Head and East Cutting Width. 
The bridge and the nearby lock were built in 1817 using bridge supplied, using bricks supplied by the Britton family from Newport on the Market Wheaton Canal about 17 miles away. Look closely at the lock. It also has stone in the chamber wall. This is unusual and may have been a way of using up leftover stone from another project. This was replicated during rebuilding work in 1995. All four road bridges and all nine locks are Grade 2 listed for historical importance. Mm, Melbourne Amps, 2.8 miles away. We're getting there. Come on, Lippy. Um, he's already had one. So let's have a look at this lock. John Lock. Here you can see the stone. Careful looping. Lupin's got a bit of a history of falling into bodies of water. So he's he's fallen in the canal at Drift, at Driffield. Then we went to East Park, which is a big park in Hull. And it's got like these big ponds or big lakes there. And there was a surface of, I don't know, algae or something. I don't know what it was. But Lupin stood on it and went straight into the, um, straight into the water. But he was all right. He didn't really care. Quite enjoyed it, to be honest. Apparently we're going under a bridge, like a couple of trolls. That's a bridge. Oh, shady. All right. Ellie, can you move the left? Lupin's making friends. Come on, Lupin. 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 Okay. Come on, Lupin. So yeah, I just went under Coates Bridge and off we go again. Phoebe is awake. She under is. her Indiana Jones hat. There she <laughs> is. Hi, Phoebes. Say hello. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hello. Boom. Hello. Hello. Hi, Phoebes. There she is. She's a gorgeous <laughs> baby. <laughs> hello. Uh, it's cruel, isn't it? Tickling you when you can't escape. A mean lady. So, we're not far away now, are we? Well, I don't know. I looked on the map. And it doesn't look far away when zoomed out. So, yeah. Go down here and we get to a road. If we don't know if we have to carry on down this path or we need to go walk on the side of the road, don't know yet. But I'm sure we'll know when we get there. So we've just had a pit stop at Walbert Lock because this city baby needs a feed. She's enjoying some lovely milk under the lovely sunshine. We're keeping her covered up as much as possible in this sunshine. It's only March, so I don't think it's too, uh, too severe at the moment this time of year. But she's good. Lupin's absolutely fine. Having a lay and rest in the sun. And that's a lock. So the pub is down in that direction. Don't know if we have to keep going on the road or we cross that road and then the canal goes alongside the road in that direction. I think that's probably what it does and I hope that's what it does. So I really don't want to be walking alongside on the road, do we? We should probably find out soon then. Binge. Alright, Phoebes. So, just waiting on Phoebe now. My hair looks really frizzy in this. I don't know why. Yeah, glorious day, isn't it? I've got this um, neckerchief on just to protect my neck. I don't usually wear this. Multi-purpose. Multi-purpose muslins. Bit of a change of plan. We didn't go to the pub that we were originally going to go to. It was a lot further than we thought it was. So we came into Pocklington and have discovered a brew York place. So I'm having a pint and We've ordered some lovely food. What have you ordered? Emma's having katsu fries with... And I've got something else I can't remember. I've got chicken... 
Yeah, I've got fries, a curry, and a bayo bun. You've got, you've got fries, curry, and a bayo bun? Yes. It's like fatty. How many bayo buns have you got? All of them. Just, just one. And that is a hungry baba. She's just aggressively um, grabbed the spoon out of mummy's hand. And it was very funny. This is mine. <laughs> Good girl, Phoebe. Very clever. You clever girl, Phoebes. Yes, you are clever. Yes, you are clever girl. She's very clever girl. What? What's Phoebe having? Spaghetti bolognese in a pouch. Look at that. Right. You enjoying that, Phoebe? And a, we've had a lemonade each as well because it was rather hot out there, wasn't it? We walked about six miles today. Yeah, Phoebe, Phoebe. Bag ball all over mummy's dress. So, yeah. Might have a bit of food, maybe a look around Pocklington, and then we'll probably mosey on home. Um, there's Lupin being a good boy. Hello, Lupin. He's a tired dogger. He's had a lovely walk today. That's all mine. Emma's got two buns and some fries. I'm very excited to eat it, so goodbye. Well, we're home. I ate too much. I ate too much in Pocklington. I'm very full. Tired. Mummy's about to go have a little bath. Phoebe's absolutely delighted. Excuse you. She's had a big, she's had a big, big feed. Excuse you. Haven't you, Phoebe? Phoebe? Yes, you've had a big feed. <laughs> She's delighted to be home and she's eating a rattle. Mm. Yeah. So we're just gonna have a chilled <laughs> evening now, aren't we? Yes. Bath time, bedtime, and mum and daddy can chill. I'm just gonna have a quick wash now. Totally missed you with that ball, but there you go. Lippard's upstairs, laying on the bed. I'm hoping Phoebe's just gonna chill now. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Should we clap? clap, clap Can clap, you clap, clap, Phoebe? Clap, clap. Excuse the um, ironing pile behind Emma. Oh, yeah. Never end them. It would help if I did it, wouldn't it? Then it wouldn't be. Never end them. It would end. Maybe I should. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it tonight. Or tomorrow. Or maybe Monday. Who knows? Who knows when it'll get done? Do it now. It'll get done when we have no clothes left in the cupboard or the wardrobe. Emma's been watching Animal Crossing videos. Emma's a big, sorry about my feet. Emma's been watching, Emma's a big fat Animal Crossing fan. Don't know if any of you are. Look. What are you currently doing on Animal Crossing, Emma? I've just made a maze and I was gonna um, like, decorate it with lots of exciting things, but I wanna redo it again. What's to redo it again? You've got no attention span with your Animal Crossing islands. My first island was amazing and I demolished it all because I got bored with it. And I can't seem to find the right theme. No. I've told Emma she should do like a centre parks, holiday park kind of thing. That's my idea. I think that's a good idea. Thanks. I think I might do that. This yeah. is um, a national park. Oh, there you go then. That's a similar thing then, isn't it? Yeah. It's amazing, this island. It's got a lighthouse. There's so many things that I didn't even know existed in Animal Crossing in this video. But the thing is, I don't play often enough, so I'm not collecting stuff. Right, I'm going for a wash. I'm not a fan of Animal Crossing, personally. But I can see the appeal. 
But it's just no conflict or stress with it. It's just it's so relaxing. Collect things and place things. That's the entire game. Bye bye. Emma's going for a bath. Emma's Phoebe seeing a toy. And yeah, it's been a nice day. So at the place where we ate, it was actually a brew York place. It was a little tap room restaurant. I ended up having a katsu curry. I had pork fries and two bayo two bayo buns. Oh, no, one bayo bun. Oh, God, I was stuffed. I managed to eat the curry and the bayo bun, but I left some of the fries. Now we don't have to worry about dinner, do we, Phoebes? I'm stuffed. Your mummy's stuffed. You had a nice bit of food, and you apparently just had a long feed, so you're stuffed. So we're all good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. Maybe film tonight. Phoebe's gone down. Well, we'll be ready for bed then, won't we? Cops go forward tonight, so we're going to lose an hour's sleep. Still, never mind, eh, Phoebes? Are you going to throw that ball? Are you going to throw that ball? Where's the ball going to end up? <laughs> she just threw the ball at me. Thanks, Phoebe. Apologise. I've got a freaking bloody tripod upstairs I'm not even using. There you go. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. It looks like a giant raspberry, Phoebe. A giant raspberry. Yeah. Yeah, she just likes putting everything in her mouth that she can. Rattle, rattle. Phoebe. 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 Oh, it's too interesting. I'm not going to go. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Did you have a lovely time in Pocklington? Yes. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, I might, might do another little video later. Just as we're all chilled out. Oh. Just since I'm about to end the video. It's looping. Phoebe's had a great day. It's had a nice long walk today, haven't, haven't you, Loops? Got a tiny bit of food at the place where we ate. And this will be looping now, I imagine, for the rest of the day. Into this evening and tonight. He's a good boy. So that's it, Loops, isn't it? Okay, cool. Well, if I don't see you again, thanks for watching.